Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM22 Career Mode Episode 43. Continuing on with the Jiro and our quest for as many stages as we can get, but more importantly, the King of the Mountains jersey, which we are after with Abner Gonzalez. Gonzalez, he's third right now in the KOM. He's got a great chance today, though, to pick up some really solid points. I don't think it'll necessarily put him in the jersey, but it'll get him well on his way. We have Bogley here as well. So Gonzalez is not having to ride at all. He's got a plus five today with that expected plus four. So finally, after a minus five draw each of the last two stages for him, he finally has a minimum plus one draw, maybe even better, uh, and looks really good. Also, because Bogley is here with him in the break, Gonzalez doesn't have to work at all. And... The other nine riders that are in the break with me and our four-minute advantage that we have, by the way, right now, the other nine aren't very good riders today. Now, I don't think that the Category 1 climb is going to be something that is going to go tremendously well for us. I don't think we're going to just dominate that and, and claim it. Uh, it seems more likely that the Cat 3, Cat 2, we win both of those. I think the field's going to be too strong. They're going to be coming at us. There's going to be fatigue. But here's the thing about Gonzalez. A, we have a 3 minute 45 second advantage over the field right now. And B, thanks to Bogley being here, Gonzalez has not been riding hard. I mean, you can see where the rest of the team is cruising along. Okay, he's ridden a little bit harder. He's a little more drained. But he's not putting the work in here at the front. And there's a big enough group here that he is, at least for now, conserving a lot of energy can he hang on uh, maybe and we'll see how things are going as we get to I'd say about here as we're descending you're not gonna lose much time through there and you know if you have a sizable gap we might be able to hang on especially with Bogley going really deep to push uh, in the later stages for now though We've got to concentrate on getting 9 and 18 points, hopefully all for Gonzalez, and if we can, get Bogley across in second. This group is weak enough that we should be able to beat most of these guys as we go through. So Bogley is going hard enough. That he's going pretty hard compared to a lot of other guys in that gap starting to come down pretty quick because nobody else wants to really put in the kind of time that he's putting in. Let's go Gonzalez onto the back wheels of Bogley, and we'll follow him as he goes up. And, okay, effort up? Sure. Six and a half K to go. With that gap starting to come down, I don't want that gap coming down, but it's already starting to. Back here, let's go ahead and just be safe. Okay. Gonzalez, got an attack. Bogley, follow. Bogley's punchier. I'm afraid he's going to get away really easy. Another attack in the leading group. One guy really going for it. Pinarello. How is he that much better than... Because of the amount of push. He's pushing harder. But if we're draining Red Bar that fast, he's got to run out before the end, you would think. And he does. Gonzalez gets him. Bogley only gets third, but Gonzalez does get him over the top. He faded just before the line, and you can see how we just made it. Just. Okay, so Gonzalez can just go back to sitting on. And you can go back to just riding. And we've split the group in half, by the way. Now that one, just cat three, nine points. But that brings us up to 27 now. Strengthening that position, and Bogley, who already had six himself, now has eight. Now, the only reason for Bogley to go for points is to keep those points away from other riders. The more we distance other riders in this classification early on, the faster we are going to... The faster we're going to have other riders that aren't interested anymore. Checking in on everybody else. They're looking fine. 
ugly at the back at the moment, but it's 10k to go. And it's a fairly steep climb here, 15 kilometers, 5%. Right now I'm happy to have these guys doing some work because I'm still having thoughts about the stage for Gonzalez, especially with that plus 5 and a 4 minute advantage over the field. Okay, Bogley upping the effort enough to be into the mix here. 4.5k, start coming forward. And some of these guys are not doing terribly well with it, and then now Gonzalez can follow. 2.5k, start to get a little bit of red bar push here, or into uh, puncher's push that is. 1.5. Okay, 700 meters. We've dropped one rider. Continue just a little bit longer. Now Gonzalez is going to attack. Bogley will follow. Oh, come on, Gonzalez. Full gas. Full gas. Come on, buddy. Wow. He didn't go full gas, and that allowed him to not get maximum points. He's up to second in the classification, seven points down now. Uh, I don't mind waiting on that one a little bit as he'll recover and he's still in good shape. And we're still thinking about what is to come with a five minute advantage over the field. There's a definite chance here. Bogley. Gap 4.45. Gonzalez still looking strong. Everybody else coming up the climb. Nope, they're over the climb, and everybody's here. Everybody's intact. 95k to go. I know. Who has a plus five? Goes down with Vingegaard. And you raise favorites. I know was one of our favorites for the day. And he rides on. Put him on auto for now. Mark was supposed to be protecting him. Did not do a very good job of it. Couldn't protect Arietta. And meanwhile, back up front. Gap already down to 330. But we have, as a group, started to speed up. That's good. 87k. And Bono is back into the group. And back out of the group. Enios, trying to pull somebody up. Cronge goes down, but I'm not worried about Cronge. There's Cronge. Oh, Bono gets checked up there for a second. And Cronge is off and riding again. Moss was in that crash. Skilmos, Fabro. Wow, that's a pretty strong group right there. And the whole field has split. Has it not? No, it has not. Uh, they're counting that group back there. Moss as front. Okay, Bono trying to make his way forward carefully. And Bogley pushing tempo. Yeah, let's use it up some of his energy, but that's okay because we're going to have some descending. I want to keep the gap so that Gonzalez can have a chance at the stage, have a chance at the Big points on offer. Coop with a puncture. Holy crap. Three. Three incidents for us in the recent kilometers. It's going to get water as we need it, even though we're not at the uh, mark we need to be. We're going to need to get water again. Coop still in contact. Crunch. Crunch is not going to regain contact, I don't think. Coop's trying to recover his position. He never went out the back, right? But no, nearly recovered now. Just trying to do so casually, minimally. And they're not chasing. Look at that. They're not chasing. I like it. But no, back in place. Silver Mark. Protect him. Cronge. Back in contact. Coop. He'll recover position. 
four minute advantage as we begin the descent. This is where I was talking about where it matters. What is the gap? It's four minutes. Um, they're pulling back a little bit of time here, but there's one little climb, one little flat plateau, a little more descending, and then onto the climb. 21K, average of 6%, max of 9.7, and, you know, Gonzalez today has an 83 mountain to that kind of advantage. If we use up Bogley in the early part of that climb to keep the tempo high, I, I like our chances. I'm liking our chances right now. Okay, now back in here. I know I'm going to effort up, and Crunch getting that water for us, 65K to go. We still need it one more time, probably at the upper end of that plateau to get that. Okay, you can see Bogley is starting to feel the effects of being in the break. Gonzalez is just barely beginning to feel it, but you can see guys like Coop are feeling it too. Vermark is feeling it. Uh, Arietta is starting to feel it. So we just have a huge advantage, and we're seeing an attack by a rider. Vanderbecken. I forgot to go for the sprint points for uh, Bogley, who currently leads that classification. Not that it matters. No idea where he was when we went through there. Bogley going up on effort. As that gap is coming down really fast right now. Push that tempo some more. Don't let these guys come back at us this fast. Ron's got dropped. He's out of energy. We had already set him to auto anyway. Let these guys hold until the main climb. Gap down to a minute and a half. They are flying right now. You can see how much better Gonzalez is doing than those guys because of the tempo, because of the advantage. I have a feeling that when we hit the base of that climb, there's going to be a lot of riders in that field that are not anywhere near their full strength. And Gonzalez is already just about f fully recovered. And doing better right now than every other teammate, even Bono. Yeah, that's Crunch long gone. Coop, I don't like your position here. Let's see if we can fix that a little bit. We're almost there, folks, by the way. 61 left in the peloton, but only a 40-second advantage to Gonzalez. But we're going to ride for Gonzalez as the group catches them. There's one rider left off the front. Ogley's nearly out of energy. There you go. Okay. 47 second advantage. At this point I'm thinking let us catch let them catch us because the gap's small. But then use the rest of the team to ride for Gonzalez and see what we can do for the top of this climb. Especially with how good he is looking, and Bono for that matter. I think we've still got a great chance of getting at least some points, if not max, on the top of that one. So we are not pushing. This is not us. But they're still catching it anyway. Bogley was the pace setter, but you can see that's not happening anymore. Inside 20k to go on the climb, 29k on the stage. I should have gotten that water just a moment ago, but uh, I think we'll be okay on this climb. And it's all together besides the one rider who went clear and attacked. He's a minute and a half ahead. And here comes the first attacks, Yelmos and Dinabil. And you're seeing Jumbo Visma with Betty all respond so it's still not up to us but he's done he's going backwards 
and he's going out pretty quick. This is the back of the peloton already. 59 left. Another flat tire. With three off the front. The lead over the pack is dwindling. A and of see they're chasing. There's three, four guys at the front riding hard. Now what we don't need though is these guys going backwards. Uh, we need to protect Gonzalez. And there you go, it's all together. Down to 54 riders and Vermark is fading. He was protecting Bonneau. I think we want to leave Martinez alone here in a little bit. We're not thinking about GC, not worried about GC, we're worried about stage. And it's coming back together. Do we want to put pressure on him? Do we want to attack with Gonzalez? Are they going to let him go? Maybe let's see what happens if Martinez attacks. Will they let him go? And DWL, Skilmos, they'll try to chase those guys back, right? So that's getting somebody else to do some work. Ride at whatever pace they want to ride at. Force the other teams to do some work. Martinez gel. Mark's gone. Down to 39, plus the three. Martinez is nearly caught, and it's back together. Sit up. Arietta and Cooper nearly done. Gel just chasing down Martinez. Took a lot out of those two, even though these other guys did it. Damien Hart coming forward to lead things out now. 8K. Just about, just about time to uh, sprint train this thing. Down to 35. Martinez is fading because I've got him down, down to a 71. Uh, Arietta is about to lose Gonzalez, so let's swap them. It's going to bring me down to four guys, and you can see how stretched the peloton is starting to get at the moment as more riders are dropped, including Arietta. 27 now. Coop's about to fade. Who's protecting Bano? Bano's going to be on his own, and that's going to leave me three guys with 5k to go. This is our response. It's your race leader, by the way. On the attack, two guys, and you know, fast response. Vingegaard pushing. Car blocked off there for a moment. Martinez is done. 3.8k to the top, down to 22 riders. On to Bano push less hard. He's trying to set up Gonzalez here. One rider just attacked and went clear. Is that Vingegaard? Yes. 2.9k down to 20 riders. We've got to save enough for Gonzalez to uh, get to the top here. Down to 17. Well positioned right now for the top. Goes Misnata. Not necessarily thinking about first place over the top, just the highest position we can get, 1.5k. Can't really push harder at the moment because Gonzalez. There are just 10 kilometers left. 500 meters. Okay, let's swap Gonzalez. Take your teammate. Good. Third over the top. That's worth a lot of points. That is worth a lot of points. And he's into the KOM lead. Vingegaard, three points behind. Fisher Black is still on 40. There's not a, at 36 now. And then a huge gap to 18. And we have a three-man group. Three-man group here, and we're about to make contact. Uh, we can think about the stage for Bano at this point. Uh, I think that's your best option. What's the ending finish line look like? I 
Bono. Okay, Bono is recovering a little bit. That's who we're trying to set up right now. Glogue is who we have with us. And then the two riders ahead, looking more like a top five for this stage at the moment, though. As Gonzalez has recovered, oh, Gonzalez needs to start pushing on. As Bono is definitely recovered now. Inside 4K. Still very technical. Could still go very wrong here. Now we're starting to pull up there as it flattens out a bit. 1.8K. 1K. Sprinting. Sprinting. It's going to be a podium on the stage. Fingergaard, Mesnada, Gonzalez hangs on for third, and Bono fourth, Glogue fifth. Nice little gap behind as well. Hopefully that doesn't suddenly put us into the GC situation. I don't think it will. These it's a minute and a half, a bunch of guys already crossing the line, so I think we are safe on those time losses that we had. But not only did we pick up the points in the first two climbs, we did in fact pick up really solid points on that cat one as well third over the top for gonzalez and into the kom jersey so we've got the jersey after just five stages we're only a quarter of the way into this race though so there is a lot left to go vingegaard who went over the top first gets all 40 points but gonzalez accumulates a, a very solid 27 on the day which is enough to move into that lead we're going to have difficulty with the Venga guards uh, getting to the top of big climbs. We're going to have to pick up points in ways like we just did. We had a good finish on the big climb, but we weren't at the top. But we had where we needed it in other places to accumulate the points necessary. And we're going to have to be pretty active here. We've got a real shot at this though. Up to stage eight now. Gonzalez still has the King of the Mountains jersey, though he only picked up one point. Uh, but there's only been one or two small climbs over the last two stages. They were mostly flat. So here we are on another mostly flat, but we've got this nice little cat two in the middle. It's a sprinter's day. So we've got the not really sprint contenders in this breakaway group. The guys surrounding me are not climbers. This is going to be, should be, theoretically, a very easy time trying to get the uh, the points on this particular climb. And this time we are aided by Arietta. So once again, Gonzalez not able to work. Only a plus one today, though, unfortunately for him. And let's go ahead and get up on Arietta's wheel, as Arietta is already putting pressure on, and these guys are having a hard time keeping up with Arietta's not even substantial tempo that he's setting. We'll, we'll go 78 for a little while. So yeah, we're doing 9K to go on this climb. So I think uh, maybe a 76 for a little while should do him. Meanwhile, these guys are at a 76. And let's make sure as they accelerate that we're OK. It's the only climb I have to worry about getting over for the day. I don't care if Arietta necessarily gets second. I don't think any of these guys the were contenders in the KLM. Jersey, it's the blue one. Da -da, da -da. None of them. So, uh, none of them are necessarily even going for it. We will try to get second place with Arietta. Not sure what is going on here. Why Arietta? Oh, okay, these guys still, there's a few guys still willing to contribute. 6k to go, and we've already started to drop riders. We want some tempo to make this hard to, to drop even more of these riders or make it impossible for them. So we are going to start turning it up even more with Arietta. Uh, now that we're inside 5k. Nobody else has been dropped yet, but you know a lot of these guys are going to be struggling. 2k. We'll have Gonzalez attack at about one, and then uh, have Arietta follow. Up the effort, 600 meters. 400 meters and we're about to crest. So really put that foot down, please. <sighs> Kevanya 
He's punchy. He is punchy. Did we get over the top first? I don't know if that was first or second. Cavanya's got 18 points and had none. So Cavanya did go over the top first. Uh, we do go second over the top, which was worth 10 whole points less. Ouch. Cavanya, the one punchy guy in this group. And we're down to six. One more climb to go. Make that seven. One rider already caught by the peloton. Just three points left here, but now I'm interested since we just lost out on ten points. Didn't make it quite hard enough with Arietta. Mountain rating wasn't there for these guys, but they went into the climb fresh. And Arietta already did most of the riding up the top, so those guys kind of just sat on. The we didn't burn them out enough. Some... Big crash there. The Got a few second-tier climbers in that crash. 74k to go, and probably a good time to get water. Same for back here. Last time I have to worry about that. Bovin withdrawn from the race. Three and a half minute gap. Not a guarantee that they catch us, but they're going to catch us. Especially considering the guy who was well off the back has caught back up to us. All right, 10k to go to the top of the climb. A little descent to set it up. This time we're going to want to go full on 85. Harder, sooner this time. Already dropping a rider. Five and a half K to go. This is forcing them to go really deep, but this is going to ease off a bit. Pressure on. This is about these points. 3K to go, and you're seeing these guys trying to do something there. 2K to go. We have not dropped anybody yet. Hey, Gonzalez. Go almost max effort on this one. Arietta, helping to block these guys off. Okay. Extended red bar, so go max effort. 400 meters. And we got it. Arietta steals one point as well. 13 points clear of Fisher Black, who picked up four points uh, over one of the previous stages, but otherwise is still kind of where he started uh, with that first big climb. Shock stage victory that he had. And we're going to keep Gonzalez resting. No reason to expend any energy for him unless he's got a chance at winning the stage. The rest of the team looks like they've gone over the top of the climb three minutes back. That effort a little bit. The undulation through here could be good for us. Could be good for our chances of staying away. Two and a half minute advantage. 37k left to go. we get inside about 20 and still have a significant advantage then we're going to wait as you know as long as we can two minutes 30k high effort and Gonzalez a lot more fresh hanging in there one and a half minutes 24k not looking great for our chances, but it's not a foregone conclusion as we lap somebody as we're on a circuit of some kind here. And then we just dropped someone. Did he attack us? No, there was somebody lapped there. We just happened to also drop somebody at the same time. And the gap to the peloton, peloton of 36. Peloton of 36, when did that happen? Man, field just blew up. Field just blew up. We're looking at a small group here uh, for Mark. Gonzalez, but no, Bogley looking great. 16k. 
Gonzalez may attack and try to go solo. It's a one minute advantage. Arietta giving me what he's got left. 13k to go. Gonzalez attacking the group. Now backing off. Why would you go 48? That was not what I had set for you. Makes no sense. But as okay. often happens, they're all getting back in the saddle. Next game. 10 second advantage, 11k to go. And 56 seconds over the peloton. 10k. How long can we ride like this? I'm not worried about that red bar. It's about yellow bar and keeping these guys at bay. Arietta is done. Meanwhile, uh, these guys are going to need to sprint train at some point, but we don't want to do it early. We don't want to pull the group towards Gonzalez at all. We want to give him that chance with a now 37 second advantage with 8k to go. 92 effort. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are not going to push forward, but we're going to set up a train. Uh, who can sprint of these guys? Bogley? No. Bogley has the acceleration. But knows the fastest. Gonzales. Keep an eye on his energy and see what he can do. 45 seconds. He's going for it at this point. Doing what he can. 45 seconds still ahead. Not sure he's going to make it on a 92. We'll go 90. 45 seconds still. Going over the last hill here. Almost out of energy, though. If you can get over the top without bonking, he's got a chance. 2.7. Full effort. Nobody's chasing him. 40 seconds. For Mark, give us a lead out. These guys are all riding for themselves, it looks like. Gonzalez. Gonzalez almost to the finish line. Coop, sprint. Martinez, sprint. Bogley, sprint. But no, sprint. Gonzalez. Can he hang on? Can he hang on? Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Lunge, lunge. Gonzalez takes the win. <laughs> <laughs> photo finish photo finish and he hangs on ahead of Koish and Jakobsen oh hell yeah I, I messed up the sprint for everybody else because I was trying really really hard not to help that group gain even an inch because that's all that's all it would have taken right Koish wins if we give him one more inch <laughs> okay, well, there you go. There's a stage win and some solid points for Gonzalez today. I like it. I like it. He did lose the 10 points on that cat, too, to a a strong uh, uh, Cavania. But, yeah, otherwise, continuing, it still furthers his advantage in the KOM. Plenty of mountain stages to go, and we're... Not quite at the midway point, but we're definitely past a third of the way into this race with eight stages behind us. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.